In this episode of the Dr. Clay Show, I'm going to explain to you why you get sore from doing something that seems really easy. Good evening. Did I say that right? Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whatever. Choose your salutation. You can even make it hola. Buenos dias. Either way, I want to welcome you to this episode of the Dr. Clay Show, where today I'm going to explain to you why you get sore sometimes doing something that seems like it shouldn't make you sore. For example, let's say you've been working out and you've even been exercising your legs, but you haven't done barbell squats in a while because they are cumbersome. Or maybe you've had a legitimate reason, your back's been hurt, whatever. And then you say, well, let me just try them. And you do three light sets of squats. Doesn't seem like anything tough at all. And then the next day, your legs feel like they're fried, like you've never even worked them out before. And you're going, that doesn't equate to what I did. Hmm. Or even something more simple. Let's say that, well, here I am on a basketball court. Um, let's say I, I do a pickup game. Actually, a buddy of mine's a great basketball player. He wouldn't pick me to be on his team if we're playing pickup basketball, but nonetheless, let's say Danny and I are playing basketball, and I haven't played forever, and he has. I could play one pickup game, and, and I've done this, actually, and the whole lower leg be sore. Side of your calf, your calves, even kind of your feet and your ankles maybe knees, maybe even hips a little bit. And like from playing basketball for maybe 30 minutes, no big deal at all. You didn't hurt anything, etc. Or even something more basic, like I've even had this happen, walking. Let's say I haven't done cardio in a while. And in fact, it happened at this here very park behind. If we were to turn the camera around, you've seen it. I filmed other episodes here. Walking this park, it's just a sidewalk and it's got a little hill. When I haven't done cardio for a while and I walked it for four miles one time, my lower legs were so sore, as I was talking about. And it was just from the, the action of stabilizing. And when I had to walk up the hill, your calves are in a stretch position and then you have to contract and they go up, you know, contract to propel you up the hill. The point is, and the reason all these things make you sore, and the thing they have in common is that as I've already alluded to, that they're using muscles that, not necessarily that you haven't used, that's how we normally say it, but that's not exactly true. It's muscles that we haven't used to that extent, or that duration, or in that exact manner in a while. Like using your peronia, your peronius brevis longus, tibialis anterior, posterior, etc., etc., that you may not use that often, but uh, you know, coming out here and playing pickup basketball or even walking uphill or on an unstable surface, walking on the beach is another thing, or doing barbell bench press. That's one thing that I hardly ever do barbell bench because it's not a very safe exercise. So when I do it, it makes me sore, even if it was not that challenging. Again, the point is it's taxing your body in the way that it is not used to. And you're having, you're putting stress on, for example, uh, ligaments, tendons, and especially the tendons and the muscles themselves of the smaller, tiny uh, stability, stabilizing muscles that are when you're training in the gym and everything is always straightforward as opposed to like tennis or something, you might train your butt off in the gym, you know, lifting, doing stuff like this, and that's great, but then you come out and you're doing something like this or frisbee, you have to throw it like that, golf, tennis, you get the idea. It's not that these things are that tough on our body, it's just that the tendons and ligaments and the muscles themselves have not been used in that exact way. That's it. So that's why you get sore sometimes from doing wimpy stuff. Now the take home message to this is, one, it's just, uh, it's just cool to know it. And in case you're on, what's that cab driver show? Cash cab, cash cab, uh, you know, who wants to be a millionaire, et cetera, you'll know this. But secondarily, and seriously, the main point is so that, to keep that in mind when you're doing something like a pickup game of basketball, or walking, or doing squats, or even bench press, anything that you haven't done in a while, just keep in mind you need to respect that stress and the damage that it's gonna do to your body. The damage is good if you recover from it, but if it's too much, then it's too much. Does that make sense? So, train smart. That's my saying. It's better to train smart than to train hard. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. Until next time. Oh, and I'm wearing a California Golden Bear shirt, but let's not be fooled that I am an Auburn Tiger fan. But I'm not hating on any college whatsoever. I like Cal. They're down the road, but 
War Eagle all the way. Later.